Hi, dear friends. I'm Suresh Kumar from Smart Leaders IAS. And in this online sessions, I will be taking science and environmental basics. In these sessions, we will take up important scientific concepts and have a short and a brief description on these. In our first session, we will have a discussion on cloud seeding in India. Recently, global warming has affected and caused serious weather modifications and changes, resulting in droughts as well as floods. It is in this context that India, being a monsoon deficient country, when rainfall fails during a deficient monsoon, this technology, cloud seeding, becomes all the more important. Let's go to the concept of cloud seeding in this first session. Cloud seeding is a weather modification system. Cloud seeding is a weather modification system to bring rain artificially. In addition to bringing rain artificially, the technology can be used to bring snow as well as to reduce fog and hail formations also. So the cloud seeding can be used for four different purposes. To induce rain formation, to induce snow formation, to reduce foggy conditions and to reduce hail formations over a particular region. This technology was accidentally discovered by Mr. Vincent Schaffer in the year 1946. Before going into the cloud seeding, we have to have a brief discussion on how rainfall forms. Rainfall forms out of two important concepts. First, in the cloud, the moisture which is available in the clouds, other head together, forming bigger droplets, and these bigger droplets, due to the influence of gravity, falls down as rain. But this type of phenomenon is usually responsible for drizzling, not heavy rains. So water droplets merely adhering to each other and coming down as a rain, the resultant reason for the formation of drizzles and as well as cloud cover within 5 kilometers in range. The second reason how rainfall forms is due to a phenomenon called as supercooled liquid. Supercooled liquid. What is this called a supercooled liquid? We all know that a water freezes at 0 degree Celsius. But clouds which are at a very heights as a reduced pressure, clouds at a heights as a reduced pressure. Due to the reduced pressure, the freezing point of the water also gets down. So from 0 degree Celsius, the freezing point goes less than 0 degree Celsius. Less than 0 degree Celsius. What is a supercooled liquid? When water remains in a liquid state, even less than 0 degree Celsius is called a supercooled liquid. So the condition in the cloud is that the temperature in the clouds remains between minus 5 degrees Celsius to minus 40 degrees Celsius. In these conditions, the, the water remains as liquid. Rather than being frozen at this temperature, it remains as liquid. So how this type of cloud gives rain? This is where cloud nuclei comes into the picture. Cloud nuclei. So this water vapor, supercooled liquid in the clouds, needs something to begin with. So when a small particle called as cloud nuclei is available, these water droplets will go and stick to it. Stick to it. Once it sticks to it, it immediately becomes frozen. Why it happens? Why when a supercooled liquid upon contact with the cloud nuclei becomes frozen? Because it loses 
its latent heat it loses its latent heat so super cooled liquid by losing latent heat when coming into contact with the cloud nuclei becomes frozen so slowly super cooled liquid comes and becomes frozen over a point of time it becomes heavier ice particle this heavier ice particle under the influence of gravity once again comes down but as it comes down due to increase in temperature the ice melts and this is the second reason for the rain formation so ice which formed upon a cloud nuclei when it comes down it becomes into rain these are the two reasons how a rain forms in cloud seeding we are using the second method of how rainfall occurs in the method of cloud seeding we are artificially providing cloud nuclei then we naturally what are the sources for cloud nuclei a bacteria also can be a cloud nuclei so naturally i'm saying naturally what are the sources for cloud nuclei a bacteria pollen grains a pollen or pollen grains particulate matter suspended in the atmosphere and aerosols these are the natural sources of cloud nuclei in cloud seeding procedure we are artificially providing cloud nuclei so this explains through aerial means we are providing cloud nuclei particles above the cloud one method second method from the ground the cloud nuclei particles are mixed with propane the cloud nuclei particles mixed with propane and the propane rises up in the atmosphere reaching the clouds so cloud seeding can be done by two means through aerial means using jets aircrafts and balloons through ground means through ground means by mixing it with by mixing with propane what can be used as a cloud nuclei in this procedure so sources for cloud nuclei here silver iodide can be used as a source potassium iodide can be used dry ice also can be used sodium chloride common salt also can be used in this procedure one point i want to mention here in this procedure of cloud seeding the particles which are used silver chloride potassium iodide dry ice sodium chloride the an important point is these particles resembles the crystal structure of ice that is the reason why the super cooled liquid can easily adhere to these particles this is the reason why these substances only as selected in this process let's see the cloud seeding attempts in the context of india it was first attempted in the year 1952 over western ghats by tata group of companies later in 1970 it was attempted in irrigation research center in pundi chennai it was even in, uh, initiated between the years 2004 to 2008 in andhra pradesh there were various attempts made towards cloud seeding recently such an attempt also was made in maharashtra maharashtra for 3 years for 3 years this cloud seeding procedure initiated in maharashtra is a quantification procedure 
to understand how much rainfall this attempt will bring. So, it is an experimental quantification procedure to be conducted for 3 years from 2017. This project in Maharashtra is a 250 crores rupees, 250 crore project initiated by Indian Institute of Tropical Meteorology. So, the project in Maharashtra will be conducted by Indian Institute of Tropical Meteorology. Whether this procedure is being followed in other countries also? Yes. Most importantly, United States of America, US, China, Australia, Brazil and Chile have been foremost in attempting the technology of cloud seeding. More particularly, China in its 2009 Olympics, it has used the procedure, the cloud seeding procedure to prevent the occurrence of rain. So far we had seen what is the mechanism behind the cloud seeding, how the rain forms and the attempts made in India. Now it is time to see the pros and cons of the procedure. First, let us see the pros. By using cloud seeding, we can provide rain to drought struck areas. It, is, it can be a source of rain for drought affected areas. As we said earlier, cloud seeding is a weather modification procedure and hence it has a potential to regulate the weather, more particularly on critical infrastructural areas such as airports, where foggy conditions is a menacing issue in times of winter. The third important pros, it makes an area hospitable by bringing rainfall to a drought struck areas, it makes an area hospitable and as rains will mix with the particulate matter in the atmosphere, it also helps in clearing air pollution. Now what are the cons? Because we are using substances artificially, it can lead to contamination of these chemicals, chemical contamination is one of the important disadvantage of this procedure. Second, we are attempting to bring rainfall in one region which will affect the weather conditions in another region. It will lead to abnormal or unpredictable weather patterns and sometimes even flooding. Third, as it is experimental procedure and we do not have enough expertise in this area, it requires huge amounts of investments. And when it is unregulated, when the cloud seeding procedure is unregulated, it can lead to flooding and sometimes undesirable weather conditions also. And considering the size of India, the most important disadvantage is that cloud seeding procedure is unsustainable for a large country like India. For a small country like Vietnam, the technology might be providing useful. But for such a large country, depending upon monsoons, it may be an unsustainable way to bring rainfall. Friends, we had so far discussed about cloud seeding in this session. In our next session, we will take another important topic and have a brief discussion on this. Thanks for your time.